Um, the PACE Clinic, I think, is, is somewhere uh, that other people can go to, other professionals can go to and learn about um, the kind of uh, treatment and education that happens there and then take that back uh, to their own clinic or hospital. Well, it sounds like Santa Clara County is really doing its best to put the, the right foot forward in this direction of uh, HIV uh, uh, preventiveness and treatment. And so this initiative uh, is going to be a, a great step in, the, in, the, in moving forward. I, I think so, too. I mean, yeah. and, I, and, and, and thank you for saying that, you know, uh, that the county is in the uh, f forefront, uh, but there's still gaps. Um, I, I don't ever want it to be a situation where somebody um, thinks that they're um, HIV positive or they just became HIV positive and then they talk to a physician or a, a nurse in the county um, and they find out that the person really doesn't have much information or gives them oh. incorrect information. So sure. we're, you know, someone's health is so critical on this that we just need to make sure that everybody is knowledgeable and um, can react very quickly if, uh, if yeah. uh, they're confronted uh, with a patient with some of these issues. Yeah, especially since it seems to be uh, to our younger generation. Absolutely. And uh, that's, Absolutely. that's our future. So. Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm very excited about the, uh, the Office of uh, LGBT Affairs yes. that, that we're starting. Um, because we need to do more outreach in the minority community, particularly in the Latino community, which is so large here in Santa Clara County. And again, we're seeing that the numbers of HIV infections are, are increasing um, in, in that community, but particularly uh, with um, younger, uh, younger men. And uh, so I, I think with between the office that we're creating and the outreach and with the Getting to Zero campaign, we can really make progress in all this and make all of our citizens, but particularly our LGBTQ uh, yeah. citizens, feel like this is a very welcoming place and that we are here to provide the services that our community yeah. needs. Well, again, uh, Santa Clara County seems to be on the forefront there and being uh, providing this information and providing and being inclusive. Yeah, that means a great deal to make people feel comfortable who are coming into this into this area to live and work. So, yeah. thank you very much for doing this work for the LGBT community, for being a supervisor who's right there and, and, and bringing all this forward. We want to thank you and thank you so much for joining Outlook Video. Well, thank you very much. Kim Davis is a county clerk in Kentucky. After the Supreme Court decided that same-sex marriages were legal nationwide, she stopped issuing marriage licenses, which halted them for the whole county. She said she was acting under God's authority. A judge ordered her to start issuing them again. She refused and was jailed for contempt of court. After five days, the judge ordered her deputies to start issuing them, and she was let out. Now, that was four months ago, and in any sensible country, her 15 minutes of fame would be up. But the so-called religious right, the conservatives, the Republicans, the people who seem to think that they are the sole owners of God, have been dragging her around to conventions and lectures as their anti-gay martyr. And Tuesday night, she showed up at President Barack Obama's final State of the Union speech, invited by Representative Jim Jordan of Ohio. Although there was some question about whether he knew that he invited her, don't ask. Kim Davis doesn't seem to know the difference between her job and her religion. Her job as county clerk is to provide legal documents to people who are legally entitled to receive them. That's all. It is not to judge these requests based on her personal religious beliefs and deny them if she thinks God disapproves. If she wants to do that, it's easy. She can quit her job and go to work for a church. Churches are allowed to discriminate against people on the basis of their religious beliefs. County clerks aren't. And you see how ridiculous it would be if they could. Because here's a news flash. Religious beliefs can be anything. Some people believed interracial marriage was against the will of God. Some people still do. Orthodox Jews do not permit interfaith marriages between Jews and non-Jews. You could have the religious view that atheists should not be allowed to marry, that Muslims should not be allowed to vote, or that women should not be allowed to drive. You're entitled. But you are not entitled to use the power of the government to force those beliefs on people who don't share them. Not if you work for the county or the DMV or voter registration. It doesn't work that way. And I think Kim Davis sort of knows this. When asked if she would issue a marriage license to someone who had been divorced because, you know, 
Jesus had some very bad things to say about divorce. She said, yes, that would be, be between them and God. And it's worth noting that Kim Davis has been divorced three times and married four to three different men and conceived a few kids out of wedlock. Fortunately for her, she has converted to a fundamentalist religion and been born again. So she says that the previous marriages really don't count, which is convenient for someone upholding the sanctity of marriage. But not for gays who wanted to get married. For them, it's not between them and God. It's up to Kim Davis. What Kim Davis was doing is called theocracy, using the government to impose the rules of a particular religion, hers in this case. Now, the United States was very deliberately and specifically set up not to be a theocracy, unlike many countries in Europe at the time. Unfortunately, quite a few powerful Republicans also believe the U.S. should be a theocracy. Senator Marco Rubio, who's running for president, said that if a law conflicts with God's rules, God's rules always win. He didn't say how we should decide whose version of God and whose interpretation of God's rules. He meant his, of course. And Ted Cruz, Mike Huckabee, Ben Carson, they've all said similar things. If these people win, God forbid, the U.S. will cease to be the country it was meant to be. Kim Davis and her supporters claim they are just protecting their religious rights, and she is their Rosa Parks. But the right they want is the right to discriminate against people who don't agree with their religion. As for gay people, their religious rights, their beliefs, their conscience, their relationship to God, if they have one, just don't matter. The truth is, Kim Davis was a person in authority who used her power to unfairly deny equal treatment to a minority group. She isn't Rosa Parks. She's the bus driver. We love to get mail from you. Email us at comments at outlookvideo.org. To contact us by phone, call 408-293-3040, extension 205. Visit our website at outlookvideo.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash outlookvideo. And connect with us at facebook.com slash outlookvideo.